Earlier this week, National Grid held a ribbon cutting for its new corporate office building in the Reservoir East Office Park near Winter Street. It will consolidate the company's New England operation into a single building with more than 1,800 employees from across the region. Local elected officials agree that it's a great project with perfect timing. This is a great project for the city of Waltham, uh, about $1.2 million annually in increased property taxes, which we uh, really need right now. Uh, the company is also, <coughs> or the property owners are also contributing 4 to $5 million in road repair out on Winter Street, which would only help to attract other um, businesses to this area. Corporate office openings don't often make the news, but this three-story, mostly glass facility is a temple of sorts to green engineering reflecting National Grid's commitment to the environment and to energy efficiency. There's several features that make this uh, uh, environmentally sensitive. Um, we could start at the roof with our photovoltaic cells, our solar panels. We have 20,000 square feet of solar panels on the roof, which will produce about half of the energy load for the lighting within the building. The lights as well are uh, very energy efficient. Um, over, they're about 41% more efficient than the traditional lights. Um, we have low cubed heights um, and a, a lot of window line and it brings in a lot of natural light. Uh, we wanted to reduce the amount of energy that we needed just for our day to day daily lighting activities. There are also roof drains uh, that will collect rainwater from the roof, deposit it into a tank at the, uh, in the basement of the building and that water will be used to flush the toilets within the building so we won't need that water from the town. Other features include carpets made of recycled materials, wood from sustainable forests, sensors that turn lights off when not in use, and even urinals that use no water. It almost makes going to the bathroom fun. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.